Behind me is the entrance to Joe Temple in Yamaguchi, famous for the Zen garden built by Seshu. Uh, Seshu was a well-known Japanese painter, painting in black and white in charcoal ink. Uh, while being famous as a painter, he's also famous for his gardens. And there's one at the back of this temple, uh, which we'll go on to see now. Situated at the foot of a mountain, the entrance to Joy Age is rather splendid. The white walled temple, the roofed gate, and the massive uh, tiled roof of the main part of the temple over to the left. Uh, very ornamental trees, very sort of still and silent feel to the place. Now I'm on the veranda from which you can view the uh, Seshu Garden. The temple uh, is behind you, uh, the large tatami matted room. There's a tape recorder playing with a Japanese lady's explanation of the history of the place. And in front of the veranda you can overlook the uh, famous uh, Zen Garden. And here is the garden. It's quite big. It's about the size of, say, two tennis courts. It's got a, a pond, a whole variety of rocks scattered in a seemingly random order. Of course, they have great significance. Surrounded by deciduous evergreen and some bamboo trees, too. Very different from a, a British traditional garden. The garden is said to represent a much larger area, with the rocks representing mountains, and perhaps the pond representing a sea. This is typical of the cosmology of the Zen garden. Uh, the hardness of the rocks is meant to somehow represent their, their spirit. On the other side of the temple, there's a very nice gravel garden, and that I really do like. Not to be missed. I'm not even sure if it was designed by Seshu himself, but from my point of view, it's very decorative. This is the gravel garden, and I'm really a fan of these. We don't have them in Britain. Uh, in that respect, they're very interesting. They've, they're a kind of optical illusion. They look like they should be moving, but they're not moving. It's almost as if one expects the gravel to ripple. Again, these represent perhaps the gravel at a sea, one rock and island, a much larger area, is represented by quite a small garden, or at least that's one interpretation. In any event, I think they defy interpretation, so they make you stop and think. Uh, they also have a lonely feeling to them. The Japanese call it uh, wabi and sabi, which is the enjoyment of loneliness. And looking at a Zen gravel garden, somehow I, I like to think that I can understand that aesthetic, that they do look lonely, and yet it's like a sort of a violin symphony or something. It sort of tugs at your heartstrings and makes you enjoy the sense of loneliness. <laughs> 